Roar! Yo, we're watching Lion King today. And if you guys want to join our Christian youth group where we watch Lion King, then get this video to 12,000 likes. And check out our Patreon for exclusive commentaries and videos on Avatar and Total Drama Revenge of the Island. And if you support the circle of life, you'll subscribe or else. <laughs> This movie is, and I'm gonna say something really fucked up. This was Disney's original Frozen. Like the movie literally made like a billion dollars. I like the Childish Gambino version more though. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, John Oliver plays this guy in the fucking, like, live action, and it's so annoying. It's so, it's genuinely, like, the worst thing ever. He does, he does. He's like, Oi, Simba, what are you doing over there? It's, you gotta get over to the Pride Rock. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, don't leak, bro. What the f*** you doing to my boy? Your mom didn't bathe you, Jack? This is a very confident opening, now that I think about it. They don't, like, introduce or set it up. There's no opening monologue. It just f***ing starts. This is like 2001, A Space Odyssey, but if it was Animal Kingdom. King Mufasa's on his way, so you'd better have a good excuse for missing the ceremony this morning. So this is the guy, this is guy that's, like, the guy that killed Jesus or whatever? It's like Judas the Lion. His name is Scar, and you're, you're gonna not understand why his name's Scar. Well, as far as brains go, I got the lion's share, but when it comes to brute Strength. Does that make sense to say as a lion? I get the lion share. You're both f***ing lions. What are you talking about, little bro? One day, Simba, the sun will set on my time here. Oh my god, that shot looks fucking awesome. James, James Baxter. Baxter. Why do we both say that, though? Because he, it's a spinning shot in a Disney movie. So James Baxter had to have animated it. What about that shadowy place? That's beyond our borders. That's Mexico, Simba. You can't go there. You must not cross it to the dark land. I don't care how good the horchata tastes. I told the elephants to forget it, but they can't. Zazu, would you turn around? He is looking very... Daddy? I don't want to say daddy, because that's like a lion. What's wrong with that? Do I have to explain it? I'm just more into lionesses. Mufasa? Simba? <laughs> like, this is, like, most furries, like, awakening. What's with Jack and always being up to some shenanigans, bro? This guy. What are we gonna do with him? I never get to go anywhere. Oh, young master, one day you will be king. I don't get to go anywhere. I never get to participate in the race war. God damn it. Well, he'll be able to, like, start his own race wars when he's king. Oh, goody. My dad just showed me the whole kingdom. And I'm gonna rule it all. I'm gonna rule it all with an iron fist. Not a single person will be joyous under my rule. You mean an iron paw, Simba. What are you talking about, you fucking dumb-witted piece of shit? Oh my god, dude. Dude, I just realized, bro. What? What? Dude, we've been paying for two Peacock accounts to watch Megamind show. This this amazing show. I cannot believe it. We already oh finished god. the show. Why are we even... Oh my... Geez, oh my... Did you use Rocket Money to find that out? Because I just started using that for my personal... Dude, dude I did not use the sponsor of today's video. I'm so stupid oh my god if you did that we wouldn't have been paying for two accounts like we did and like we have with multiple other subscriptions with today's sponsor rocket money and you know the cool thing that i heard about rocket money is that it's not just for subscriptions you can also manage your budget and automatically be notified if you go over so you can know for a fact that you're not spending too much wait but does it work for like saving and stuff like that you can set up your own smart saving you choose the amount and the frequency and rocket money will automatically deposit Deposit the savings into a smart savings account. You can withdraw your savings anytime you want. So if you want to take control of your finances today, check out the sponsor of today's video, rocketmoney.com slash spilling the milk to get started for free. An elephant graveyard is no place for a young prince. Oops. He's so manipulative, bro. I don't mean to be that guy, but I'm starting to think the Scar guy, like maybe he's like not really a nice guy. He's giving bad vibes. We'll show you when we get there. Oh. Uh, Mom, can I go with Simba? Oh my god, is that Nala? <gasps> wow. She's beautiful. Dude, it's a little cub. You can't say that yet. I was talking about the lioness. Well, he's the future king. Yeah. So you have to do what I tell you. Dude, low key, Simba's a, like a fucking asshole, like Nepo baby at the beginning of this movie. And through a hardship, he becomes like a good nuanced person. So at low key, like Scar's actions were good for the development of Simba. No one's saying do this. Now when I said that, no I think be there. All our commenters telling us to react to fucking Barbie the movie 13. <laughs> Bro, that fucking face, dude. They're just trolling. 
movie looks so good, bro. It's crazy. Whenever I watch a movie like this, it just makes me depressed. You know what I mean? I'm like, what happened, bro? This is it. We made it. <gasps> is that is that Manny from Ice Age? Oh, because Disney bought Blue Sky, who made Ice Age. This is the corpse. This is the corpse of the Ice Age films. You told me they're nothing but slobbering, mangy, stupid poachers. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> they're just like so racist. Did we order this dinner to go? No. Why? Because there it goes! That's kind of a groaner. The hyenas are kind of groaners, man. They're the villains. They're the villains of comedy, like in the film. They're not only the villains of the movie, like they're trying to make us not laugh. Holy shit, bro, chill. Damn, that was low-key uncalled for. I love the way this area looks. All the bones. Looks like my closet. Huh? That was not you, Simba. You're not him. He's him! He's him! You could have been killed. You deliberately disobeyed me. Doesn't James Earl Jones voice Mufasa? Yes, I think you're correct. That's Darth Vader, I think. Wait, so... He is his father. Because nobody messes with your dad. Come here, you. It's so wholesome. They're so lovely together. Father and son bond. I'm glad nothing will happen. You're not going to be together, Simba. Have you watched the fucking movie, dude? But sick as you are. Okay, quiet, quiet, quiet. He's spitting, bro. He's spitting. This is the best song. That's our commenter. Stop talking over the movie. Pay attention. Be prepared for sensation. He's dead ass kind of gay, though. Tell me something I don't know, bro. Well, that's a beautiful thing, because this movie taught us that, like, gay people can be evil, too. And you'll never go hungry again. Little Caesars for everybody. Four dollar pizzas. Four dollar pizzas. I'm gonna treat you right off of the Taco Bell dollar menu. <laughs> no, just stay on this rock. Why didn't they donate, like, all the the profit of this movie to, like, wildlife preservation? They should have done that. Yeah, because Disney is such a good, like, philanthropic company. Like They're a great company. They should have done that. Like, they made a billion dollars. Can I just pick off one of the little sick ones? No. We wait for the signal from Scar. How many times has Disney killed the parents in the classic movies? Well, that's just how people experience sadness. Like, there's no other way for a cartoon character to experience sadness. Can you imagine if there was, like, a Disney character instead of their parents dying? Like, they lose all the money they invested in their cryptocurrency or all the money they had in FTX, and it's like... <sighs> I fucking love that. Bro, this fucking... <laughs> he dead did a thumbnail face right there. That was so funny, dude, but it's not supposed to be funny. Mufasa, quick, stampede in the gorge. Simba's down there. He's trying to kill the whole bloodline. Scar is fucking genius, dude. If Simba was smart, he would just jump. He would do like a, a subway surfers on him and jump on top of the goddamn hyenas. Like he would jump on top of them and, and like dance. You got caught in the lazy river, not the lazy river, bro. Long live the king. Oh my god, no! I've seen that scene in live action, and it is the shittiest thing I've- I hate even calling it live action. It's all CGI, but the other- the newer version. It's all animated, yeah. Yeah, come on. You gotta get up. I can't help but think of the Kingdom Hearts version where Simba is smiling. What the hell is Kingdom Hearts? This happens in Kingdom Hearts also? Like the characters go through the plots of Disney movies. That's the plot of Kingdom Hearts. Run away, Simba. Run. Run away. Do you think Scar intended for Simba to also die? Or did he spare him intentionally? Or did he not care? I think he wanted both of them to die. I think that was Scar's plan. But Scar kind of rolls with the punches. Like, that's what a true good male manipulator does. Is that, like, even if his plan fails, he'll still manipulate. Wait, why did he tell him to leave? Because he's evil, Chad. Because he doesn't want to directly kill Simba in case someone sees. That would be sus. The dawning of a new era in which lion and hyena come together. Bro just like revealed he was evil in the frame one. Like. But he's kind of like, he's like, bro, like let's not be segregated anymore. And he's the evil one. Segregation is evil. I mean, good. I mean, what? Dude, this is like the ReZero opening. <laughs> Yo, the comedy just arrived, bro. Oh my god, thank god, dude. Timon and Pumbaa carry this, actually carry this movie. He looks blue. 
I'd say brownish gold. Such a captivating comedic rapport. We should take some notes from them. Dumb and dumber. You need a new lesson. Repeat after me. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. Oh, the best song, bro. This shit's peak. This song, oh my god. It means something. I forgot what it means, bro. It means, like, be concerned. It means fucking run for your life. Do you think the animators working on this scene knew that they would be making one of the most culturally relevant songs of the human race? Like, this is the type of shit that we put on the CD that we sent to aliens to explain what humans are. To explain what humans are? They're gonna be really confused when they see lions. Hit it, Simba. Hit it. Simba had depression, and they're like, bro, just don't think about it. Just vibe. These are rare delicacies. Mm. Mm. Oh, dude. I wanted to eat these bugs so badly in the movie. I think this movie is like the only piece of any media that has ever made bugs seem mildly appealing to eat. He was vibing for 20 years. Isn't that crazy that he just he just smoked weed for 20 years and became awesome? This is like the white kid with rich parents who just goes to like a third world country to role play being poor for a decade and then just goes back to their normal life afterwards with like enlightenment. That's what I'm saying. It's a small world after all. No, no, anything but that. Are they allowed to do that in the movie? That's my question. They got sued. They actually got sued by like by the small world themselves. So they just got sued by a different department of Disney. Just some internal fighting. We got a bone to pick with you. I'll handle this. Scar, there's no food, no water. Yeah! Why haven't they eaten him yet, bro? How many years canonically has this been? Isn't like Simba like 15 now or something? Well, it's because they, they're fucking dumb ass hyenas. Their job was to kill him. They didn't kill him. And they're like, I don't want to be fired and killed by Scar. So I'm we're just going to act like we killed him and move the fuck on with our lives. Balls of gas burning billions of miles away. Pumba, with you? Everything's gas. Everything's gas. Everything's gas. That's so true, dude. Isn't it crazy that this is the first gay couple in all of uh, media? Kuna Matata. I can't hear you, buddy. Back me up. Oh, wee. Oh my god! Hit it! Hit it, dude. I like when they used to make musicals where they casted people who could sing. That was fun. He's about to die. Holy shit. Don't touch this old warthog, bro. Once I was a young warthog. Jeez, why do I always have to save your ah! That was an ass reference. They were going to say ass. I wasn't totally on board when you said you, they were gay, but then he's like rubbing his ass. You don't rub your homie's ass. Simba? Wow! Wow! <laughs> that was such a weird reaction. That was crazy, dude. Everybody's okay with this? Did I miss something? Timon is the only one who's like, what is going on here, bro? Pumbaa's already, he's on that Hakuna Matata shit. Like, your majesty, I gravel at your feet. I gravel at your feet. I love Pumbaa. He's so he's he's adorable. Look at his smile. He's cute as fuck, bro. It's like you're back from the dead. You don't know how much this will mean to everyone. You're like Jesus. He does have Jesus' long locks too. And his furry skin and shit. Jesus is actually a lion in like most folklore. And here's the bottom line. Our trio's down to two. Oh. This is too real, bro. You know, when your friend gets a girlfriend and they just switch up, they get a girlfriend like recently and then it's like, they just suck after that. Like it's not the same. They're not chill anymore. Well, they have to start dating so like they don't feel alone, you know? T this is why Timon and Boomba's relationship starts. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can feel it, guys. Dude, this movie's so good, bro. What happened to our country, man? <laughs> <laughs> that was the scene. The f*** me eyes. And on that day, four million furries were birthed into the world. There's no food, no water. Simba, if you don't do something soon, everyone will starve. There's no food, no water. How the fuck have you survived then, asshole? Well, you know, there's a Bear grill strategy. You said you'd always be there for me. But you're not. Do do lions like Lion King? If I showed the lion the Lion King, do you think they would like destroy my TV because there was another lion? Like what like they see Nala on the TV and they start trying to f the TV. Like do you think that would occur? Wrong again! <laughs> He's alive! 
and I'll show him to you. He pulls out his father's taxidermied corpse, starts puppeting him around. He's gonna show him like a view of the whole place, and he's gonna be like, Your father's still alive here and in everything, because that's the circle of life. That's not my father. It's just my reflection. That's a fucking water. That's a water. That's a water, Rafiki. That's a water. You don't get it. You have forgotten me. No. How could I? The scene is so fucking sick. Wait, does he enter the avatar state? You can talk to the past lions. The avatar? You are my son and the one true king. He literally looks like God. Bro thinks he's Lionsgate. Like, get out of here. Rawr. He thinks he's the MGM lion, bro. Like, you're not him. That's what I meant. God damn it. <laughs> Remember, you left your lights on. The blue Honda Civic. You will remember me for centuries. Hey! Hey! Where are you going? I'm going back. That's what you see when you smoke your dad's ashes. You get your parent cremated, and then at their funeral, you roll a blunt with their ashes, and then pass it to everyone at the funeral. That's the dream blunt rotation, bro. Where is he? <laughs> You won't find him here. <laughs> the king has returned. <laughs> and then the way he like pointed to himself, it's kind of looked like Rafiki was saying he was the king. You know, Simba might be the literal king, but he's like, he's, he's kind of good with the sauce. So we're going to fight your uncle, Flores. Yes, Timon. This is my home. Bro, he's beautiful. Look at him. Yo, this is like at the end of Spider-Verse. Cuts to credits. Lion King will return in part one half. Hyenas. I hate hyenas. Like, they just are allowed to be racist. Like, that's crazy. Well, it's not racism, it's speciesism. And considering the fact that they die from hyenas because hyenas need to kill them to live, I feel like it's a pretty valid reason to hate them. All you have to do is get in line. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, this might actually be the best song in the movie. You can tell that like Timon's the one with all the talent, but he lets Pumbaa back him up. You know what I mean? Well, Timon's the one that yaps, and Pumbaa's the one that just like he craps, bro. You know what I mean? If you were half the king Mufasa was, you I'm was ten times the king Mufasa was. What an idiot! What did Scar's fucking goal? Yeah, I like that Scar. Like he's not just evil; he also is just bad at his job. Like he just sucks at being king. How can that be? It doesn't matter. I'm home. Simba. If I was Simba here, I would kill my mom because I was hungry, you know? <laughs> they think I'm king. Well, we don't. Yo. Race war. Race war. Race war. Is it really a race war if it's like a white uncle and his white nephew? If it weren't for you, Mufasa would still be alive. It's your fault he's dead. Ooh, the shot's so good. James Baxter animated this scene. Someone said this literally is James Baxter. James! Baxter. This is just the way your father looked before he died. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Cinematic parallels, bro. So everybody's just watching this happen. Matthew Broderick plays Simba? That's Ferris Bueller. Oh, what? That's crazy. He doesn't sing, though, right? He definitely doesn't sing. I killed Mufasa. I'm not gonna lie, Scar sucks in this movie, bro. Like, not as a character, but like, he's just a terrible villain, like, logistically speaking. He's bad at his job. That's what's hilarious. He is bad at his job. Now they're in for it. They call me Mr. P. That's iconic, bro. They call me Mr. P. That's basically like the say my name moment from Breaking Bad. You're goddamn right. Simba, Simba, please, please have mercy, I beg you. You don't deserve to live. Holy fuck, that's brutal. Yeah. Everything you ever told me was a lie. What are you going to do? We're lions, Simba. That is what we do, we lie. We're lions. We eat hot chip and lion. <laughs> I'm realizing, I feel like this movie was like, this was the birth of Warrior Cat. This movie spawned a subsection of human beings that shouldn't have existed. Like, it's a great movie, but like, what it did to culture, like, it is irreparable. Like, like it's actually f***ed. No, I didn't mean This is a pretty fucked up way to go. This is fucking hard, dude. It's such a good way because Simba doesn't even kill his uncle, bro. Like, he doesn't even have to do that. He doesn't stoop to his level. 
I actually, it's kind of nice, you know, because usually they have the rain. It starts raining when it's like the really sad, like depressing moment. But this is like they won. This is like the like inspiring, like big moment and it's raining. I'm not lying. Subscribe. Subscribe. Wow, I can't believe all those lions said subscribe to Spilling the Milk for daily reaction content. The Lion King isn't original. It actually came from Kim of the White Lion, which is actually an anime from the 1980s. Circle of life, circles, uh, excuse me, Japan, the land of the rising sun. Their flag has a circle on it. Stole from Kimba. If you guys want to watch Kimba the White Line, get this video 6 million likes and also subscribe so you can like watch us watch, um, watch, 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 watch. Aromare, Alex McLean, Alzheimer's is a bad disease, we should cure it. Andrew Husky, Arachnidroid, Aaron Tates, and Atomic Leon Bento, Blake Rivera, Kane Rivers, Tom Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenados, Gub Stargazer, Gurney Snile Yernison, Happy and A, Helio, Histrionics Ribbler, Honor Pearson, Hummus, Hydropon, Isaiah Alfred, K99, Kamui, King of the Street, Lilac Moon, Loka Pegged, Brett Han, Michael Rodriguez, Milan Zekanovic, Merck, Native, Omega Waffles, Oscar Annis, Pablo the God, Patrick Case Randolph, Pizza Loving Panda, R. Dizel, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Rithoka, Quinn Christian, Sam, Skyler is Milk's Mama, Tyler Russell, Val Explicit, Victoria.